everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. It's Friday, I'm back from the auction. It was a really light day there. I think I bought two different box, lot, box? box lots at the auction. Nothing real exciting, I spent $10 total. So it uh, wasn't great stuff, but I bought a couple things, went and hit a thrift store, actually two or three thr thrift stores. Oh, I can't talk today, my, my mouth's not even numb and I can't still talk. And we have sales to go over. It was another really, really, really good sales day on eBay. This week has been really good. Uh, basically $200 days all week. Then we got today and I did over $300 over the last 24 hours. Oh, and I had one item on Amazon. So uh, let me show you that Amazon item real quick. It's actually right over here. I'm gonna go off camera, bye. And I'm back with it. That didn't take too long. This is a Sunbeam food grinder attachment. Brand new in the box, new old stock, really cool. This kind of stuff sells all the time. It doesn't sell fast, but it does sell. People are always looking for pieces and parts for their different uh, food kitchen products, whatever you want to call them. And uh, I don't remember what I paid for it though, but I did get a good sale. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping on Amazon. I did have it dual listed on eBay. eBay, I even had it $10 cheaper. I had it $29.99 and it sold on Amazon first. So really good sale, 40 bucks here. All right, we're gonna flip around. We're gonna pull the orders in my office. I think actually all the orders that I have to get today are all in here. I don't even think we have to go out into the garage for any of them, but we'll walk through, we'll pull those. And then when we get back from that, I've been picking up jerseys and clothes for the last couple weeks. I don't always show everything that I pick up. And then what I do is I don't like listing clothes. I really don't, but there's a lot of money here. So I need to get this stuff listed. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I picked up and uh, yeah, then that's gonna be the whole video. So uh, let's go uh, pull the orders. All right, so you can see here, I sold 13 items, $333.19. So yeah, like I said, it was a really good day. So let's go ahead and get uh, some of these orders pulled. I've actually pulled all the action figures that I've sold because as I said in some prior videos, I'm gonna do a separate video about all the action figures next week. So we'll go over what sold, the totals, and all of that. So first off, we gotta get an autographed photo. It is up here somewhere. I have this whole section of different autographed photos. I have them already in these rigid holders, so they're all set to go out. And I know this one's gonna be right in here somewhere. Right here, here it is. This is Jerry West. Uh, it's already authenticated by uh, JSA. We got this certificate on the back. And I had this in my store for $59.99. Someone sent me an offer for $50 plus shipping and I went ahead and accepted. Go ahead and set this over here and let's see what's next. We got to uh, flip around. We can go right back over there because we got to get back up to the corner here. This is this Steelers football helmet. I just listed this yesterday. Picked it up for buck fifty. I think it was early this week. I think it was like on Tuesday when, that I picked this up. And listed it for $14.99 or $15.99 plus shipping, and it sold. So yeah, this sold within a day of me listing. So uh, to all you Steelers fans, go Steelers. Go ahead and get this over here. A lot of this stuff is in my office today, so that part's kind of nice. Uh, we're going to get that middle one there. This is an autograph card, and we got to just move this old lamp. And I keep the majority of my single cards in this box right here. And we got to go back here. I know it's in here. These are all the alphabetical order. I'm looking for Bob Welch. There he is. And we're looking for his 86 top. So here's this Bob Welch card. I think it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I'll double check my price here. But uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I got for it. We'll, woo, we'll slide over here. Check it out. So Bob Welch, $14.99 plus shipping. $18.49 all in. So... There's the first three items. Let's go down. We got actually two more cards we got to get out of there. We sold another Mike Piazza card. This one was pretty cheap because it sold through the 35% off sale. And it's actually a dual card with him and Roberto Alomar. So flip through, get some of these other cards out of the way. And it's not that one. Let me just double check my screen here real quick. All right, it's from Playoff Prestige. And it's this one here. Connection. So we got Mike Piazza and Roberto Alomar. And this one is numbered out of 400. It sold for a weird price. Slide back. 
right here. Let's see. It sold for $6.49 with free shipping. And like I said, this was a 35% off sale. So what I'm going to do is just put this into a small non-bendable rigid mailer and put a couple stamps on it and send it out that way. All right, more cards, but this one's a little bit different. Are you getting dizzy? Are you getting dizzy? Me sliding back and forth. I think this one's still in here. Yeah, it's just back here a little further. We got these cards, Return to Oz. So this is based off uh, a movie that Tops did cards on, and I think there's like two each of the different. Or no, we got all the different ones. We got is that Dorothy and a rooster? I don't know. I didn't see the movie Return to Oz. Some robot called TikTok. Hey, that's a different TikTok than what's going on today. Oh, there's his name. Dorothy and Bellina. This is Jack Pumpkinhead. Gosh, I've never seen this movie. Do I need to see this movie? Put down in the comments. Should I see this movie? And the Scarecrow. So had these packs. Again, this was part of a bulk lot that I bought of non-sports cards at a local auction. This uh, was originally in my store for like five or six ninety nine. And it sold through that 35% off sale, $3.89 plus shipping. So yeah, not a big sale, but uh, you know, finally getting a moved out of here. One more card to go. It's another good one. You ready? You ready to slide back? Here we go. We're gonna flip around. I hope that doesn't make you too dizzy. All right, this one. We sold one of these yesterday. I sold another one today, and it was through the offer again. So I had these in my store for $49.99 with free shipping. I sent out an offer for $40 with free shipping and they accepted. And this is actually going GSP. And if you can look, see right there, like through his shoulders there, there's like that print line that goes through the card. So if that wasn't on there, I would have sold it for more. But the, the couple that I had that little bit of issues, that's why I sold these ones off for 40 bucks each. So still happy. I, like I said, I paid $6 for that whole bag of stickers and I've already sold two of the Jordans for 40 bucks each. So really good score there let's slide back all right i think that's it for cards and let's see what we got left we got two things that are still in the closet is everything in the closet in this office today that's crazy all right next we got to find a hockey stick it's a small little hockey stick and i moved it recently when i was reorganizing it here do you guys know where i put it it's up here oh sticking out the end look at that so this is an old vintage wooden goalie commemorative like little toy hockey stick for the phoenix roadrunners they were a minor league hockey team here in arizona really cool they played in the ihl the uh international hockey league maybe so this little stick i found at a thrift store for it was i don't even remember it was probably a dollar or two but there was none of these on ebay so i had listed it for a fairly decent price and I think it was in there for a while, so it was part of the sale. Let me double check. Yep, part of the 35% off sale. It sold for $19.49 with the free shipping. So yeah, I had it priced pretty high for uh, for me to get $19.49. One more to go. Is that it? Just got one more sale. Well, you know, there's plenty of sales. I sold 13 items total, but like I said, they're all, oh, look how small these items are. This is gonna be easy to ship today. One more in the closet. We're looking for Ziggy. Do you guys see Ziggy in here? I know where I put him. I think I know where I put him. He's back here in this corner. We got two different Ziggy Christmas cards. Let's see, not that one. Is it that one? Or is it this one? Yeah. Nope, not that one. It is this one back here. Um, all right these are some vintage ziggy christmas cards i just found these i think it was last week i found two boxes obviously one box two box and i put them in my store for 19.99 and i think it had free shipping on it so really cool brand new sealed box of 25 christmas cards right time of year to sell these and uh ziggy stuff still does sell so i bought these for i think it was a dollar or a dollar 50 per box all right, look at that. This is 13 items. This is stuff that got listed yesterday. So I haven't, or I mean, took pictures of yesterday that I haven't listed yet. So 13 items. Look at all that small stuff. This is gonna be nice, quick, easy shipping day here on uh, on eBay. All right, let's flip back around. All right, like I said with clothes, I pick up stuff all the time and generally I wait till I have a whole bunch of it then I list it all at once. I'll take pictures of all 10 to 20 items that I've picked up 
and then get all the listings done at once. So rather than just do one shirt here and there, I just wait till I have it all bundled up. So I have a lot. I probably have at least 20 pieces that I need to get listed on eBay and a few pieces that'll be for my booth. But first up, we got this jersey. This is Mueller 88 for the Arizona Coyotes. A really great jersey. This is a CCM jersey. Everything stitched on here, and this was only eight bucks at the thrift store. A lot of these I haven't checked comps on because some jerseys might sell for $20. Others could go for $50, $70, $80, just depending on how many are listed, if there's any listed, the size of it, lots of different factors. So uh, this is a really great jersey. Like I said, I paid $8 for it, and I'm guessing it should go for like $40 and up. Obviously, being here in Arizona, I found find a lot of Arizona sports teams items and that's what this one is too. This is Anquan Bolden. He used to play for the Arizona Cardinals. Started back in 2003 and left probably after like seven or eight years, whatever it was, and went over to the Ravens. So really great jersey. This is actually a really big size. This is a huge jersey, size 52. So good size, good jersey, good brand. It is stitched. I think this one was six or eight dollars as well because I bought it at the same store as that hockey jersey. Got them on the same day. And because of the quality of this, I'm shooting probably in that $30, $40 range. Maybe higher if there's not too many sewn ones out there. Here's another Arizona Sports. This is the ASU Sun Devils, but this is a lacrosse jersey. So it's shorter. It looks like a midriff type shirt. And I've sold some other lacrosse jerseys in the past and they do sell. This one is made by QC and this just says LAX, which is short for lacrosse. Cool jersey but probably not real expensive. My guess is it's probably going to be 25, 30 bucks. Here's another nice jersey. This is an Isaiah Ryder jersey from the Minnesota Timberwolves. This is a vintage champion jersey and it's a size 36. I can't remember what 36 is. If that's like a youth extra large or adult small, either way, way too small for me. If it was a bigger size, I'd get a lot more money for it. But these vintage champion jerseys do really well. Youth sizes still do okay. So probably... $20, $30 range again, just depending if there's any listed out there. This one's a big jersey. I'm gonna have to back up for this one. Look how big this jersey is. This is Brett Favre, and this is also a vintage champion jersey, Green Bay Packers, and size 56. So huge jersey. This is probably 3X, I think is 56. So really great size. Yeah, it says 3XL. So that's why I picked it up. There's a lot of Brett Favre jerseys out there. If you look on eBay for Brett Favre Packers jersey, there's probably a thousand of them out there. So hopefully being a 3X and a vintage champion, I'll still do okay on this one and get $30 or so. Another Arizona player, Larry Fitzgerald. This Fitz jersey, it's a youth one. And I actually think I'm gonna take this to my antique booth. It's in really great shape, but it's a youth jersey. I think it's a youth large. Picked this up on a day when I used the coupon because I think it was marked $8. So I paid about six and I should get probably 20 bucks in my booth. I get a lot of Denver sports here. I don't know if just Denver people move down here or come down here during the winter, whatever it is, but this is a Peyton Manning jersey, another great quality sewn jersey. And this one's made by, I think it's Nike. Yeah, this is a great Nike on-field brand jersey for kids, kid size again, but still should be uh, in my eBay store, 20 bucks plus. Just had Broncos, I got another one. This is Ed McCaffrey. Yeah, we're going back a ways. He played during the 90s for the Denver Broncos. And this is an old, look at this, an old, let's see if you can see the logo, Puma jersey. You don't see too many Puma jerseys out there. Uh, this is an extra large, so it's also a good size. Again, I really got to do research on all these because I'm just throwing some prices out that I'm just really guessing on. He was a fairly popular player, but just not a big star. So again, I'm hoping for $30 or so. We're sticking with football. We got Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger, Steelers jersey. Steelers are playing really good right now. They're undefeated, which is probably why I sold that mini helmet earlier. This is a 2XL, so another really good size and should still have no problem getting a sale on this quickly in the $25 to $30 range, I'm hoping, because of the size. All right, I think that's it for football jerseys. We're going to some other stuff. Cycling jerseys. I haven't found too many lately because stores have been really marking them up here. I go in some stores and their cycling jerseys are 20 bucks. Yeah, use cycling jerseys for $20. This one was cool. It's Seattle, so you got the uh, space needle on it. And this is made by Canary. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I don't think they pronounce it Canary. So I assume it's Canary out of San Diego. 
typical jersey with the three three pockets on the back, zip up front. And with these, I always look for themes. So I'm looking for cities, schools, stuff like that. This one here wasn't too expensive. I think it was six bucks. And jersey like this should go for 25 or 30. We got a couple brand new items coming up. This one's first. We got this Arizona State. This is like a pullover jacket, brand new with tags, but it's an off brand. KA Knights Apparel. It's an extra large. Nothing on the back. I think this was $5.99. So I went ahead and picked it up because I figured brand new. It's starting to get cold here in Arizona, or at least it was for a couple days. And should be able to get 20, 25 bucks for this. We're almost done. We only got a couple pieces left. Stay in there with me. Next, we got a soccer jersey, like the polo shirt style with the collar. This is a Nike brand, so you got the swoosh there. Nike tag and brand new tags. Look at that. This was originally, does it have a price on it? Nope. But brand new tags, Nike, and this is Brazil. Haven't looked up comps. I don't know what it's going to go for. $20? $30? I'm not sure. All right, two more cool ones and we're done. Basketball jersey. This is Westwood High School. They're actually a local high school here in Arizona. Played against them when I was in high school. This is an old jersey. Look, look at this old Wilson tag that's on here. Oh, come on, focus. Focus on that Wilson tag right here. There it is. So this is a size 40, but it's a really cool old Wilson basketball jersey. So I know there's collectors of old jerseys out there, even if they're not pro teams. This one, oh, the tag's still on. I paid $3 for this. Yeah, three bucks. I'll put it in my store for 30 and just wait for that right collector to come along. Last item, I promise. A pair of shorts. I don't buy a lot of shorts, but this one, Chicago Cubs. And this is Nike dry fit shorts. So these are really great. They're a size medium, not my size. If they were bigger, i just keep them and use them for me. And uh, these were marked up a little bit. They were marked $12.99. I used a coupon that day, so I paid about $10 for them. But I looked up comps. They're going for like $25. So I went ahead and got them, and uh, hopefully I get that $25 or $30 bucks for them. Right. That's it. I'm tired. That's a lot of stuff that we went over. So uh, it's the weekend time. So I don't know. What are you all doing this weekend? Are you going to garage sales? Are you going to estate sales? Are you just kicking back and going trick-or-treating tomorrow. It's Halloween tomorrow. So everybody be safe, have fun, whatever you're doing, put down in the comments down below. Are you going trick-or-treating? Do you have kids? Or are you going out doing sales? You're going to watch football on Sunday. What are you doing? That's it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.